Hello YouTube family and welcome into today's video. This is going to be the review of the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Face Tape Foundation. I am in the color Fair Light Neutral, so you guys know that before we start. I absolutely am excited to show you guys this. We're gonna get right into it. I'm just gonna talk as we go. I'm gonna put my hair behind my ears. And as I'm talking, I want you to remember that if you're new to my channel, please subscribe by clicking the red button below. Don't forget to hit the bell next to it so that you can be notified of any video that I might be putting up. And don't forget to, if you do like this video and you do like reviews of foundations, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate First that. First thing to do is prime your face. I've already got the e.l.f. Uh, mineral infused primer on. Just push that into your skin and then smooth it over a little bit with your hands, paying attention to the parts where you really have a lot of pores. And I'm gonna just put a little bit more on the pore area so you guys can see how I do it. I don't like run my hands over anything like that. It doesn't matter what foundation I'm using, I always use primer. The next thing is this new Eco Tools sponge, which I'm absolutely loving. It's got the cut end here, a little bit of an end there, and then just a little bit of a flat surface right here where it comes together. So I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild primer water. This is the coconut one. I'm gonna sp spray the end of my brush and we're gonna get into this. So we're gonna start with one pump on the back of my hand and one pump has been doing my face just fine. Normally, you guys, if you've ever seen my other videos, I do color correcting. But so you guys can see how well this covers or how well it doesn't, um, we are not going to do the color correcting today. So just gonna go in and go in with my Beauty Blender and just bounce this into my skin. You guys, I've worn this already for approximately a week, uh, maybe eight days total. I love this foundation. This one claims to have 12 hour wear, hydrating wear. It claims to be medium to full coverage. And I would say that that is a very accurate description about it being medium to full. I think that it is definitely that. I think that it all by itself, it does just a great job of how it covers and how well it does. But I know from past experience that it's not going to completely take care of my blemishes on this first pass on this first pass of it. So as you can see, you guys, um, if it's coming across on camera, I have a little bit of breakout right here and here. And then on my sides right here, you can tell that I still have my age spots throwing showing through. I usually don't bother too much with those, but for the purposes of today's video, I'm gonna show you how uh, well it does if you put just a little bit more on. This pump right here will be for my neck and my decollete. Spray my sponge again. And I'm gonna just run this all the way down my neck. I have to put foundation on my decollete because of years and years of sun damage. And it just looks ridiculous if I don't. So I'm always one that usually does that. Plus all the discoloration that I have down here um, from my neck to my chin there definitely would not make it look seamless. So I just go all the way down. It's easier for me that way than having to worry about having a line of demarcation. This foundation, I absolutely did feel like the claims of it being 12 hours were very accurate. I felt like the hydrating claims were very accurate as well. Um, the other thing, now I'm going in with my second layer just in this area where I feel like I don't have enough coverage. And that is one thing, you guys, it is very buildable. Um, I'm not gonna put a full pump on here. I'm just gonna try and stay in the areas where I feel like I need a little bit extra. Um, so it's very buildable and wears just beautifully. It goes on beautifully. I, I have really liked it very much. It gives a satin finish. I would say it's not a dewy finish by any means, not an illuminating finish by any means, but it doesn't make you feel like you're dried out either. So that's one thing that I'm really excited about with it. Um, I have not bought since NARS came out in the summer with their, um, uh, I think it's their All Day Radiant or something like that. I haven't bought a high-end foundation at all. So for me to purchase a high-end foundation, it's going to have to be pretty good. So that is the second pass. Let me get really close to you guys again. 
and it did really well on hiding those a little bit better this time. There is this blemish right here that I'm not gonna be able to hide very well unless I do a little bit extra concealing on it. But on both sides, I feel like the really dark age spots that I have or the scarring that I have really did really well. So I just think it's really pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup and I will be right back with you guys. Okay guys, so I have the rest of my makeup on now. Let me come in a little bit closer so that you can see. Everything just looks so good with this makeup. I love this makeup. It is one that um, I don't feel like is super duper expensive compared to a lot of them. It's not cheap. It's not, you know, like drugstore price, but I do feel like I really, really like it. Now you guys know that I love my drugstore foundation. I haven't tried any so far this month besides the Catrice. I do love this new Catrice foundation, but besides that, I haven't tried anything else that I have just been loving. It just feels so good on the skin and it's going to wear so good through the rest of the day. And I know that when I do these videos, you guys want me to do like the end of the day showing you what it is. Unfortunately, sometimes it just doesn't work out for me because of my health issues. So to come back in here and set everything up and get to filming again, it really can be a difficult thing, but I will try to get better at doing that if I'm able to. But my thoughts on it from wearing it quite a long time. Medium to full coverage foundation, yes. Long wearing 12 hours, yes. Hydrating, yes. I feel like it just, hit all those markers and how it just looks on aging skin. I feel like it looks really pretty that way too. So I'm just excited that they finally came out with a good one. Personally, I have not ever had a foundation from Tarte that I would that I liked as much as this one. So this is a good one, you guys, if you've been thinking about picking up and trying it. Hopefully it'll work for you guys, but remember I got dry aging skin that has big pores. You saw my hyperpigmentation, you saw my scarring, all that good stuff. So I feel like it's a good foundation for me. It's a good fit for me. So that's everything for today's video. If you did enjoy me reviewing the foundation, please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. At the very end of, of the video, I am going to put on the end screen something that you can click on that is my flawless foundation routine. We didn't really go into how I do my uh, foundation. We kind of just went into how the makeup was today. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and take a look at that. You guys all have a great week or weekend and I will see you all in my very next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.